Hey everybody, Old Man Banjer here checking in. Hope you guys have had a good weekend playing the Diablo 4 beta. I have not had as much time to devote to it as I would have liked. I had a few clients that I needed to sort out, so I've been lagging behind, I feel a little bit. But today I wanted to talk about range and melee in ARPGs. And I've played a lot of ARPGs. In fact, I think bought almost every ARPG that's ever been launched. That's a major title, other than Bolson and Last Epoch. Those are the two I haven't bought. If you think I should, write me in the comments below. In one of my last videos, some guy was like, you need to play Last Epoch, and he had like a lot of upvotes. And so maybe I need to play Last Epoch. Epoch? I don't know. Anyways, I played a lot of ARPGs over the years. And one of the things you'll notice if you play a lot of ARPGs is that people tend to favor range or melee builds depending on the feel of the ARPG. It's not necessarily a, a, a matter of power. Sometimes games have very powerful range builds, but they feel bad to play. And sometimes games have very powerful melee builds, or melee if you're English, that also feels sort of awkward. So it's, it's not necessarily a power question. I think it's more of a core engine issue and a core coding issue with how the game functions. And so far with Diablo uh, 4, I'm thinking, I almost, said, I almost said Path of Exile again. I'm thinking with Diablo 4, the balance feels really good right now to me. I don't know what you guys think. Um, let me know, but my opinion so far is that the, the range to melee balance is feeling pretty good. So I've had a chance to play Sorcerer. I think about my Sorcerer up to like level 14, and I managed to get a Rogue up to level 15. Uh, and so far, playing those two, I feel like the trade-off between range and melee is pretty good. Melee feels easier. It feels more effective. You don't have to kite. You, you get damage mitigation stuff you can use on the Rogue. You get traps. Sorcerer. You can do massive damage standing at the back line, kiting enemies away burn damage because I've been playing a flaming sorcerer, but the balance feels to me pretty good. If anything, I would say, sorry, I shouldn't have said balance, not have said balance. Socrates once said to Critias down by the Piraeus, any philosopher that says you can judge game balance by an open beta is a freaking moron. So I, I don't mean, I don't mean balance in that way. I mean, how the game feels. And right now, I think the game feels pretty good between range and melee with a slight, slight advantage to melee. There's something quite satisfying about clicking in Diablo right now. And I suspect uh, that Blizzard looked back into the old Diablo 2 code and what made clicking in Diablo 2 quite satisfying. And they've repl replicated it here because in, for example, Path of Exile, you will not find me playing a melee based character. I just don't enjoy it. Something about the, I don't know if, if anyone's a computer coder, let me know what, what you think this might be, but there's something about the engine and path of exile that feels slippery. And when you try to click on things, the mouse cursor and the way it overlaps with the object, which you are trying to click upon feels sort of yuck. And so I used to play melee builds in path of exile back when it launched. And nowadays I only play like some sort of ranged or AOE ability build, you know, totems or or a mage or something like that. I would very rarely play like, I don't know, a Marauder uh, attack based, direct attack based build. Because I just don't like it. It just feels a bit off to me. Diablo 4 definitely, definitely doesn't have that at the moment, at least in my experience so far. And that is a really good sign for the future of the game because it's going to mean that there's not going to be like an engine based reason to want to play one over the other. I mean, I could be wrong about PoE, but PoE people in the comments, I mean, shout me out. I think it's an established thing within the PoE community that we do not like playing straightforward click on object melee builds. It's more fun to play something with an actual wider effect ability. And I, I'm not sure that that's necessarily the case in Diablo as of yet and that's exciting because it could be fun you know playing a barbarian you're still doing like single target damage just clicking but you have some aoe's around you feels the same for the rogue really good sign for the future of the game quite least as a caveat to that and this is sort of a, i mean a question i don't think we can answer yet this far into the game 
is to what extent do, is the range melee uh, difference going to matter for bosses? If you've played Diablo 2, you know the best bosser. I mean, I'm going to get some hate for this in the comments, but it's a sorceress, right? I mean, we can we can agree on that, can't we? Please, it's a sorceress. Like, unless you've got a lot of gear, the sorceress is just one of the best bossers. Why? She's got teleport. She's ranged. She got really good ranged abilities, really good teleport. That's it. Ranged in Diablo 2, to me, felt like it had, had an advantage. And that's different than the feels I was talking about earlier. And I think at this point, we're in a really great place. I don't think there's that advantage yet. Impossible to tell. But at least from the initial uh, feels, it, it's, it feels pretty equal between the two. My one worry would be with bosses. Uh, I've done a few bosses now on my own. Really pleased that they're challenging. They're actually like tough, some of the bosses. And uh, that's made me quite, quite happy. Like I actually, actually lost. They lost to a boss. Turned out I hadn't upgraded my potions. Turned out I hadn't upgraded my weapons. Turned out I was playing a bit too fast, a bit too loose, a bit too uh, dealing with clients on my phone and not paying attention to the game. But in general, I don't think we're going to have that disparity that we've had in so many other games. Just just, just to emphasize, if you watch this far into the video, how ubiquitous I think this is. Let's go through other RPGs that had like a range or melee disparity. Titan Quest. Like, I could be wrong, but in Titan Quest, how specs? How specs? Like, a lot of people just play melee in that game. Uh, Sacred. If anyone is still alive that ever played that game? Well, I mean, I am, but it, that melee. Melee, Diablo 2, ranged, definitely ranged. Path of Exile 2, ranged. The better AoE, the, the the more AoE, the better. I mean, my favorite build I've ever played in PoE, if you guys remember from like six years ago, five years ago, was that Bladefall build where you just had two uh, bla uh, blades in your hand, uh, two daggers in your hand with Bladefall, and you just held down both mouse buttons, you just AoE'd the entire maps. Not melee, not clicking on individual monsters, transporting around whole maps, two frames per second, killing everything. Path of Exile, big fan of the range. And at this point, uh, I think that Blizzard has struck a balance, and that's a real positive for the game. Uh, but I have not had a chance to play the Druid and the Necromancer, and that's where things are going to get tricky, because I think those are more hybrid classes. I mean, obviously the Rogue is also a little bit of a hybrid, but I think those two are going to be more hybrid in the ranged versus um, melee department. We'll have to see how things play out over the next few weeks. But overall, in that respect, because I think if you're a longtime ARPG player like me, this was something you were immediately looking out for, I think we're at a good place. Uh, and again, um, thanks to everybody that subscribed from the last video, and uh, I'll see you in the future for more.